Assalamu alaikum. Uh, in today's lecture, we shall obtain a mathematical model for quarter car suspension system and we shall obtain its transfer function. We have learned mathematical modeling of mechanical systems with translational displacements and uh, let's apply those uh, concepts to obtain mathematical model of this particular system. We know that body of uh, a car is uh, connected uh, to its tires through a suspension system. The suspension system uh, consists of a spring and a, a damper. Uh, one of the objectives of this suspension system is to reduce the effects of these road irregularities on the passengers and to study the effect of road irregularities on the passenger uh, we want to obtain the mathematical model of this particular system. Here we have shown the simplest case where only one tire of a car is shown. You know that a full car consists of four tires and here is the simplest case where only one tire is shown. Therefore, this particular model uh, and this particular system is called a quarter car system. To obtain a mathematical model of uh, this uh, particular system, uh, first we obtain a mechanical, equivalent mechanical diagram for this system, uh, which is shown over here. Uh, M1 shows the mass of the vehicle body and M2 is mass of this tire and tire and vehicle body these are connected through a spring and a damper. The tire uh, there is a ear inside the tire therefore this uh, tire also has its uh, springing effect and therefore uh, this tire is uh, represented with a spring in addition to this mass. Uh, this uh, road uh, irregularities, uh, this displacement is denoted by X. Uh, the displacement of this uh, tire, uh, center of this tire, that is denoted by Y2. And displacement of body of the car, that is represented by Y1. Uh, we remember the procedure to obtain mathematical model for mechanical systems. First step is to draw three body diagrams. So let's first draw three body diagram for this displacement Y1. So here is a mass M1 which has displacement Y1 in this direction. What are forces which are acting on this mass? There is uh, a force due to inertia and that force is uh, uh, opposite to the direction of uh, acceleration uh, that is in downwards direction and its uh, magnitude is proportional to acceleration. That is shown over here. It is in downwards direction proportional to acceleration. Acceleration is a second derivative of position and which in Laplace domain is the position multiplied by square of the Laplace variable S. What are other forces which are acting on this mass? There are forces due to uh, this spring and this damper. How to determine these forces? Here both the ends of this spring are mo moving. This end is moving. This end is also moving. Likewise for damper, this end is moving as well as this end is moving. To determine the forces uh, due to this spring and due to this damper, we apply superposition. That is, uh, first we keep uh, this object uh, stationary and move this M1 in the direction of Y1 and determine the force uh, that is exerted by the spring on this uh, element. We repeat the process by uh, keeping uh, this M1 stationary and then moving M2 in the direction of Y2. So that forces are shown over here. Uh, if uh, this end uh, is moving in the direction y1 and this end is stationary, what will be direction of the force that will be exerted by the spring? That will be downwards and magnitude of the force will be proportional to the elongation in the, this spring. So that force is shown over here. Uh, then uh, we keep this uh, object stationary, move this object in direction of y2 so if this object moves in upwards direction, what will be the direction of the force that will be exerted by the spring on this mass M1? That will be upwards and magnitude of the force will be proportional to net compression in the spring. So that force is shown uh, over here uh, proportional to displacement Y2 and uh, proportionality constant is K1. Similarly, we determine the force uh, due to this damper force due to damper is proportional to velocity and uh, uh, if uh, 
this end uh, this end is moving and this end is stationary the force uh, will be in downwards direction that will be proportional to velocity and velocity in laplace domain is uh, we multiply the position by s uh, then uh, we keep this end stationary and move this end in upwards direction so in that case this damper will apply a force in upwards direction in this on this object so that force is shown over here so this uh, is free body diagram corresponding to displacement y1 similarly we obtain free body diagram corresponding to second displacement that is y2 this m2 has displacement y2 what are forces acting on it there will be a force due to inertia the force due to inertia will be opposite to the direction of acceleration that is it will be in downwards direction magnitude of that force will be proportional to acceleration that is uh, there in the object what uh, other forces will be acting on this mass there will be force due to this spring force due to this damper and force due to this spring how to determine the forces due to the spring and this damper again apply the superposition so if we uh, keep this uh, object stationary and move this object in direction uh, y2 so the spring will apply a force in downwards direction in uh, this downwards direction likewise damper will apply a force in downwards direction downwards direction over here the force due to spring will be proportional to net uh, elongation in the spring and force due to damper will be proportional to velocity of uh, uh, that uh, one end of the damper and then in the next step uh, we keep uh, this uh, object stationary and move it in upwards direction in direction of y1 so spring what will be direction of force that uh, the spring will exert on this mass uh, if this m is moving in upwards direction spring will also tend to pull this object in upward direction so spring will apply a force in upwards direction likewise uh, damper will also apply a force in upward direction so these forces are shown over here uh, force due to spring and force due to damper the force due to spring is proportional to the uh, net displacement uh, in this end of the spring so similarly force due to uh, this uh, spring can be determined if uh, again applies proposition if this end is stationary and this end is move, uh, moving in upward direction so spring will apply a force in downward direction and magnitude of the force will be proportional to the uh, this displacement y2 so that force is shown over here uh, here to y2 of s and then repeat the process by keeping this end fixed and this moving in upward direction so in that case spring will apply a force in upward direction and that force is shown over here now we have a free body diagrams once we have free body diagrams then obtaining a mathematical model is uh, quite easy we can simply write the force balance equations that is sum of the forces which are acting in downwards direction that is equal to sum of forces which are acting in upwards direction so writing the force balance equations so these forces are in downwards direction and these forces are in upward direction and when these are brought to the left hand side there is a negative sign similarly for uh, writing the force balance equations uh, for uh, this free body diagram we have this equation sum of uh, downwards uh, for downward forces which are over here that is equal to sum of upward forces one term is written over here and rest of the terms are brought to the left hand side with negative sign so oh, this is mathematical model for quarter car active suspension system uh, over here one thing is very important we have omitted the effects of uh, weights of these masses why we have omitted the effects of the weights due to these masses uh, because we are interested in the dynamic characteristics once the uh, this uh, whole setup is assembled the weights would have played their role and these weights will not have any effect on the transient characteristics since we are only interested in transient characteristics so therefore we have measured the effects due to the weights 
These two equations describe the mathematical model of a squatter car system. We are interested in obtaining a transfer function between displacement x of s and displacement y1 of s. That is, we want to study the effect of this road profile on vehicle body. That is, on effect of this, these road disturbances on the passenger. Uh, so this is done on the next slide. Uh, here we have uh, the two equations which describe the mathematical model of the obtain transfer function between x, uh, x of s and y1 of s. We would like to eliminate y2 of s. So from this equation, uh, we can write y2 of s in terms of y1 of s that is given over here. Now substitute this expression for y2 into this equation and then we get uh, this equation. Here y2, this uh, y2 uh, is replaced with uh, this thing, with this expression. Now taking y1 of s uh, common from uh, this term as well as from this term, we have uh, this equation. And then uh, by taking uh, the LCM and adding the two terms, we have this relation. And furthermore, uh, the relation between y1 of s and x of s is given by this relation by taking this whole term to the right hand side and bringing x of s to the left hand side. So this uh, uh, is the transfer function for quarter car suspension system. The system that we considered in previous slides, that system is uh, also called a passive suspension system. Compared to that, in modern cars, we have active suspension system. What is difference between active suspension system and a passive suspension system? In passive suspension system, we have only passive elements, that is spring and damper. Whereas in active suspension system, we have uh, uh, an active element in addition to uh, passive elements. This active element can be, for example, a linear motor, uh, can be a hydraulic actuator, and this actuator can apply a controlled force on uh, uh, this uh, body of the vehicle and the force magnitude of the force can be controlled by a control algorithm to uh, provide additional comfort uh, in the uh, ride of this vehicle so as a homework uh, you are required to obtain a mathematical model for quarter car active suspension system the schematic mechanical diagram of active suspension system is shown in this figure. So you are required to obtain mathematical model for this active suspension system.